Hello everybody here, my name is Zaida, and I will tell you something about my religion Islam. Hey, I don't care about your religion. I know you don't, but just give me five minutes and I will tell you something, man. Trust me, if you pay attention to me and think about what I will tell you, there is a chance something good will happen to you. So, will you listen to what I want to say? Okay, five minutes and you will not lose anything. Are you kidding? I don't want to listen to you. You are Muslim. I don't care what a tourist has to say. Wait. Who told you that? We're not terrorists! Maybe you think we are terrorists because of what happened in 9-11. You are! But we're not responsible for 9-11. You are! You are! You are! Hey! We're not! The news tried to warp Islam, and the most of you believe the news. True Islam doesn't agree with killing people, and Allah said that in Quran. <laughs> You know, there are so many people who think the same way you think about Islam. The Muslims are terrorists! And they ask themselves, why does Islam say to kill people? But, true Islam doesn't. And those who did investigate and look into have learned and have known what is truly Islam. The result, they converted to Islam. Every year, 20,000 Americans are entering Islam. And Angela isn't alone in converting to Islam. In fact, an estimated 20,000 Americans each year become Muslims and join mosques. Why did they convert to Islam? They found the truth in Islam and follow it. They found the peace in Islam. And you have to follow the truth. Because there are two ways after death, heaven or hell. You know that. My Christian friends, I want to tell you something. You say Jesus died for our sins. Okay, that's mean you can't do anything bad. Steal money, kill people, and not go to church, and drinking, and ask, just ask for forgiveness, and you will go to heaven. So, don't stop your doing bad, because you will go to heaven. You go to heaven despite doing sins. If you will say, you must follow the Ten Commandments, good, follow them, but you don't. Most Christian people don't follow the Ten Commandments, and let me prove that to you. What is the first of the Ten Commandments? Never have any other God. Did you say, never have any other God except Jesus? No, it said, never have any other God. But you say, Jesus is God, and his Father is God. You have other God, you worship other God. You don't follow the first of the Ten Commandments, never have any other God. So, why you don't follow the first of the Ten Commandments? I want you to go to church and ask him there. Has Jesus said, worship me in the Bible, or has Jesus said, I am God? I challenge anyone to answer, yeah. You say, Jesus is the Son of God. So, pretend you have son, and there are people who want to kill your son. So, what will you do? Will you let them kill your son? Impossible! Ask yourself, why did God let the Jewish people kill his son? They never killed him. You say, Jesus is God, and the God died for three days. So, who would the world does three days? Just think about it. Why is Islam the world's fastest growing religion? Just think about it. Why are so many priests and preachers entering Islam? Because they found the truth in Islam. They know about Christianity and Jesus and the Bible more than you. But they have known the truth in Islam. Maybe you heard there are priests that convert to Islam. But have you ever heard of a Muslim scholar that converts another religion? This is because they see the truth Islam shows. Think about this point. Jesus doesn't have a father, but he has a mother. So, you say he is the son of God. Adam doesn't have a father or mother. Why you don't say Adam is the son of God? I want to ask you, is Jesus the only son of God? Your answer, yeah? Sure. God has so many sons, as your Bible says. Genesis. Chapter 6, verse 2, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were fair. Exodus, chapter 4, verse 22, thus said the Lord, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. Luke, chapter 20, verse 36, and are the children of God, being the children of the resurrection. So, is Jesus the only son of God? Did Jesus say, worship me? Did Jesus say, I'm God? No, he never said that. Jesus is prophet, not son of God. Luke, chapter 11, verse 2. So he told them, Whenever you pray, you are to say, Father. Why he didn't say, Whenever you pray, you are to say, The Father and Jesus. Allah is our God who created us. Allah told us in Quran, He created us to worship Him. <laughs> But Jesus never said that in the Bible. So, why worship him? Jesus said, John, chapter 17, verse 3. This is eternal life, 
that they may know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. You the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. He said, you the only true God. He didn't say we are the true gods. He told you here, there is one God and he is not God. This is what the Muslims believe. Please, think about it and you will know the truth. And he said, Jesus Christ whom you have sent, the God who sent the prophets. So, why do I understand this? We believe in Jesus. He is a prophet, not the son of God. And we show Jesus so much respect in Islam. He didn't say, worship me. He never said, I am his God. And the first of the Ten Commandments say, never have any other God. But you made Jesus another God. So, it's truly two gods that you have. We love Jesus more than ourselves. And we believe he is a prophet, not the son of God or his God. He is human and one of the best men who came to the mankind. But he is not God, because there is no God except Allah. We must worship the one who created us, not worship a human or who can't exist without the help of God. John chapter 5 verse 30 I can't do anything on my own. The Islam doesn't call to kill people. The Islam calls to respect people. We bear witness that there is no God but Allah. And we bear witness that Muhammad is messenger of Allah. I have shared my beliefs with you. Anyone who was listening, if I offended anyone who was listening, I do apologize. See, sorry, more than five minutes.